Welcome to the 14th video of the Maine's Restaurant Formula video series. How old is your average guest? For many restaurants that have been around a while, the profile of your guests have aged right along with the restaurant. Are the baby boomers your young guests? I speak to a lot of restaurant owners who are wondering, how do I attract the next younger generation? Now, many times they're afraid to change things in their restaurant for fear of alienating their loyal, older customers. Even if sales haven't been so good for the past few years, what would happen if we change things and lose the customers we do have? Who are these millennials anyway? Aren't they really different? Is there any way to draw them in at the same time we keep serving our current customers? I undertook a major project this year, distilling hundreds of pages of research about what each generation wants from restaurants. The results? might surprise you. It turns out that what the boomers want and what the millennials want just isn't that different. What they want from restaurants has more similarities than differences. The reason they seem so different is simply that they grew up in different times, not that they want different things from a restaurant. If you take nothing else away from this video, take this. Your current guests are not going to stop coming because you try new things to improve the food, improve the environment, or improve the experience. They're not going to come back because your menu is stagnant, your food is boring, your environment is out of date, or your bathrooms are dirty. For a little background, millennials are currently between 18 and 34 years old. There are 75 million of them making up 24% of the population. They're right now entering their prime earning years. In comparison, boomers are between 51 and 69. Again, there are 75 million of them making up 24% of the population. Both the millennials and the boomers are huge generations. In general, the boomers have way more discretionary income, but the millennials tend to eat out just as much and spend heavily on restaurants. One difference is that millennials tend to eat later and spend more at the bar, while boomers tend to eat earlier and splurge on high quality food. One similarity is that both generations are heavily swayed by the opinions of family and friends in their choice of restaurants, and they both look closely at online reviews. Do you think boomers don't use technology? Think again, 65% of boomers use Facebook, 40% have researched menus or ordered online in the past 30 days, and a third of them have researched a restaurant on their smartphone. And these numbers are on the rise. Here are the five top things that both generations want from restaurants. One, social connection. Millennials are extremely social. They spend an enormous amount of time being social on, of course, social media. The result of this is that when they're together, IRL, in real life, they want to truly enjoy their time together. Boomers are also a very social generation. Why? In general, they're becoming empty nesters. They've now got the time and the money to go out and enjoy meeting other boomers. They want the same social connections that the, their millennial children want, just for different reasons. So how can you build social connection right into your experience? Things like shareable portions and community tables are a couple of ideas. Number two, transparency. Both millennials and boomers want to know what's in the food they're eating. The more information you can give them, the better. Millennials are interested in where the food came from, how the animals were fed, how they were cared for, the use of antibiotics, and a litany of other things. Boomers are interested in these things as well, but they also want to know the health profile of the food. They pay attention to calories, fat, portion size. Number three, customization. Both millennials and boomers want to be able to customize their restaurant experience, albeit maybe for different reasons. Millennials like to be able to have small portion plates that can be mixed and matched. This allows them to manage their check because they don't have a ton of money, and it allows them to try more things on the menu because they love variety. And it allows them to be more social, sharing their food experience 
with friends. For boomers, they like to be able to customize their order to be more conscious of their health as well as being more social. Number four, quality. It used to be that big portions was the standard for meals in the good old US of A. The bigger, the better. Today, both millennials and boomers are way more interested in the quality of the food than the size of the portions. They'd rather have the right size portion with high quality ingredients or expert preparation than simply massive quantities of average food. Number five, value. Of course, every generation wants a good value. But what does that mean? Your customer's value perception is what they get compared to what they pay. If your guests aren't coming back, there's something out of balance in your value equation. Your value is made up of every element of the restaurant formula. Food, environment, service, location, and experience. All compared to the price paid. Join us next time for the next Maine's Restaurant Formula video. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.